25 lap sportsman, get the green. Field works off at of turn number four. The Matt Guerry, number 12, running in second. His brother Nick wants third underneath the 67 as gear. He has it as the 84. Oh, 25G of Guerry broke the front end on his race car. You can see left front flat as he limps over there in corner number three looking to get around the 67G of Eric Shakir as they go into turn number one and two. As the Marcacelli number one battles with the Smith number one in the 34, Kevin Root three deep. Hang on, turn number one. We've got Alan Fink and the Tom Juno number 25 together as we are under yellow. I'm looking to grab the spot. He'll have second by a half car length into turn number one on lap number 17. So the distance of a heat race right now as they work down the back straightaway as Kevin Ridley looking to run away and hide right now as Matt Query in the number 12G trying to get back underneath Marcacelli for the second spot. He'll retake it into turn number one. So Matt Query by a half car length over the Marcacelli number M1. That's the hot battle on the speedway right now as the 34 of Kevin Root runs back in position, number four, Eric Shagir fifth, followed by the 82 of Will Shields in six, bringing it down into turn number one. Marcacelli now takes the two spot away from Guerri. As Ridley a little bit quicker that time, off a of turn number two. They'll battle down the back straightaway as Marcacelli looks to the bottom once again. Ridley through the middle, white flag is out. Here we go, one more time into turn number one. Kevin Ridley, the Fred's Fab and Fold, number 20X, Lakeshore Auto Mall, champion power equipment ride. The defending track champion of 2017 looking to start a title defense with a win, and he is going to do it on opening night. Ridley wins it, Marcacelli second, Query is third, Kevin Root finishes in fourth. Ladies and gentlemen, your sportsman winner, Kevin Ridley. I was trying to run the bottom, but it was starting to slick out there, and I figured, you know, I'm a little too sideways and probably not carrying enough momentum down the straightaway. So I moved up, and it gave me a little bit extra bite. It was a little bit more rough up there. There's a big dip in the back stretch. I think the car was coming off the ground, but uh, we decided to stay out there. We felt the best once we moved out. So.